this is Will, I'm a real werewolf, um, please like and subscribe to this channel if you would, or video or whatever, I've been asked to stop swearing by Louis, so as a favour I'm going to stop swearing in this bit. Okay, this is part two of my look into the anti-villains philosophy, the reason why I don't mind killing humans, humans don't mind killing humans, humans don't mind killing animals, animals just don't matter to humans, um, other human species didn't matter to humans, so... Um, your moralities and your ethics and all that bollocks that you throw at me is just absolute ass biscuits. Uh, I don't actually really care, but I'm going to convince you here that you should die. Yeah, do the world a favour. Don't, you know, save those plastic bags. Just fucking die. I'm Will. I am a werewolf. Um, I'm going to tell you how it is. Uh, this is at huge risk to my personal safety. I uh, am being hunted at the moment both by the army and both by my ex-tribe. I would like to say tribe, my tribe of werewolves. Um, and I'm pretty fucked, so I'm going to get the truth out there whatever way I can. On the 16th of January, I'm hoping to join Louis in um, London to do this um, transformation live on TV. Oh, is it live on TV? live in front of a studio audience and skeptics um i'm hoping to do that if i survive long enough and if i can get there um and uh, this information is just coming out as interviews at the moment if you could uh, like the video and subscribe to the video that means that lots of other people will get a chance to listen to it and hear it as well which would be a good thing for them and uh, as i say there's a there's a um what's it called, a website, that's the one, that's coming out in January, www.werewolf.host, if you want to go and actually speak to me, because I'm an administrator on there, but I don't think I know what that means really, but it is, it's what I am. So this is the second in my um, idea of human philosophy and the anti-villains kind of mandate. All right, so it's why I really hate you fucking humans. The last one was called Why I Hate You Humans. This one's called Why I Really Hate You Fucking Humans, okay? So this is like bad language that creates bad culture. About 70,000 years ago, Homo sapiens started to spread from Africa into Asia and Europe. These places were already settled by their own particular species of humans, but soon after the Homo sapiens arrived, the others just seemed to disappear. Well, not so mysteriously, really. A new thing that we call culture started to develop. We see that human cultural development when we study history. For history to come about, we saw a first even where humans began to think about shit. This point of the start of thinking is known as the cognitive revolution. You had already started to rip your natural environment to pieces 300,000 years before with the burning of your world with the newly controlled fire. Now you could really think about how to damage it properly. Well, back to the destruction of your own kind. So you slot into Euro-Asia some 70,000 years ago and fuck up the lives and eradicate the entire Neanderthal population in the next 40,000 years. Then you did that to all the other fucking species too. You killed off all your brother and sister species and you call me a murderer for killing a, full, a few of you. Well, a lot of you. Well, fuck load of you, I suppose. You became able to function in large groups, large groups that could then overcome smaller groups of other species. You could work in social groups that could overcome and bully to death the less organised, smaller, less thoughtful kin. Language and communication were your great skill, and it was developed initially so that you could talk shit about other people. Communication first came about so you could gossip about the other members of your group. You could talk about the tribe and tell others in your group if you thought that someone was trustworthy or not. It brought groups together so they could work and cooperate. That's what the experts agree, that communication came about so that you could badmouth Sharon to Tracy and her man. What a fucking waste. Neanderthals could communicate, but were only able to keep small groups together, maybe tribes of 40 or less. The Sapiens could work in larger groups. They were working in groups of up to 150 or more, and that's why you could kill off the much bigger, stronger Neanderthals. This figure of 150 will repeat and repeat throughout your sad fucker's life story. One-on-one, -on -one, a Neanderthal would have fucked up a Sapien without breaking a sweat. Interestingly, Neanderthals probably did not sweat as they were cooled by huge sinuses and were pretty hairy, so probably not actually sweaty.
The problem was when you got 150 sapiens versus 45 Neanderthals, Neanderthals had really no chance. Where were your morals and your ethics to save the species then? Where was your humanism for the other humans? Oh yeah, you had fuck all because at that point it did not suit your needs. As I have mentioned before in previous paragraph, you began to be able to make up shit in the form of stories to explain things. You became the storytelling chimp, being able to create bullshit meant that you could bring together societies. You could make crap up like religions, morals, rules, laws and other bullshit that makes you the fucking messed up, horrific, scared, vapid horror show of a species that you really are. Religions are stories made up for which people are willing to kill and die. Governmental systems are made up and people are willing to live and die for them. The idea of currency and financial structures are made up and people live and die for them. Countries on the map are made up of their boundaries and people are willing to live and die for them. Those countries are then the sources of pride and fought and died for. These countries contain different groups that are forced into these made-up zones and made to try to work together in order to form governments and maintain order. It's fucking mental. Look at Afghanistan and the borders you imposed on it in your past. You gave a lot of warring tribes the need to form a government together that would then run that country. What you got was a bloodbath as the tribes competed against one another for the right to govern. Look at the Middle East. The Western countries form countries where the Sunnis and the Shiites are found together. They are in open opposition to get the political muscle of these countries under their own control. Segregation of these tribes is wrong according to libertarians and humanists. Don't give them their own autonomy. No, let them fight it out for the governance of a country that you put the boundaries on. Hey... Maybe a conspiracy thing here. Maybe you did that in order to keep them busy with each other and not fighting you. How many massacres have been attributed to the lines drawn by a pencil-wielding bureaucrat? It does not work, does it? Those drawn boundaries protected with unimportant people's blood. May it be the martyrs willing to die for the land or the deaths caused by the struggle between those groups to control it. There are many more fictions that I could go into, but these fictions are what made your species so powerful. At first the stories were very specific for the group that they were built for. The tribe was in a specific location and would have a specific story and a specific language. As the group expanded by any means, their story would expand with them. They would meet others with conflicting stories, but that wasn't important because your stories were right. In these modern times, though, there is a glut of information and conflicting ideas. Science has come to the fore. The stories that once gave you meaning in your life are now so mixed and confused that they conflict with, which means that you struggle for meaning in life that they once gave. So you killed off other human species in your generic family, but you did not simply stop there. Wherever you ended up on the planet, your big beast disappeared. The megafauna died off too. You were just really good at killing things and I will continue this in part three of this narrative it's going to be called why I really 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 fucking hate humans